Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm currently watching the World Cup or any sporting or live events that you want to watch. It's going to be a slightly interesting one. Stick around. Let's roll the intro. We're going to look at how I'm actually recording live TV, how I'm actually watching live TV, which is slightly different on the televisions I have around the house and we're just going to get stuck in. So the first piece of kit that you're going to need is something like this V-Box communication kit. So you can find it over here. So if you go to that website and look at the product list, you basically have an Android TV gateway or a V-Box TV gateway over here. Now I have this version over here so you can actually read the two. Basically this gives you a bit like an uh, Nvidia Shield experience. You can either use terrestrial inputs or a cable input. So once you've got that, you're also going to need Plex Premium for this feature. And if you go to your live channel, live TV and DVR, so click on settings, live TV and DVR. I have 150 channels or 139 enabled. This is the IP address, 192.168.12.130. This is the actual model name, VBOX TV Gateway. And you can actually see my channel. So these are some of the channels that I'm watching because I'm based in the UK. You can do things like DVR settings. So you can actually say, well, I prefer HD or HD only in terms of the content. You can allow per partial airings. You can decide how many minutes before the recording and after you want to keep. A really fascinating feature is this detect commercials. I have it disabled because my NAS is a QNAP NAS from 2017. So I don't believe it has the firepower and the CPU power really to uh, detect and disable the commercials. But these are basically like adverts. What it's trying to do is it's trying to uh, record a video without the adverts, which is really amazing. And I'll actually show you how they come in a Plex once you've actually recorded some. So if, to record something, you need to go to your live TV section over here. So over here you can see already the channels. So you see today, this looks very similar to any EPG guide. You can uh, go and if you go click on Featured, Entertainment, Movies. Cool, so we have the next World Cup live match of the day on BBC One. So we can actually expand it. We can see it's Mexico versus Poland. So I could watch it, but I'm going to use this button to record. And it gives me an option to record the event or live match of the day events or Mexico events or Poland events. So you have this option over here, uh, which seems pretty cool. So I'm just going to try and do this, new airings only, and I'm going to try to record them all. Now this might cause you some issues with your space, but we'll see how it goes. Let's click on show advanced. Yeah, so we basically go back to the uh, settings that we talked about earlier. So we're just going to tap on record. Right, so this conflicts with eight recordings. So I can cancel, prefer this, or manage. So I'm just going to click on manage and see. So this is the DVR schedule. So here we can see everything that we've scheduled. So we've recorded something yesterday, recorded the England game today. Um, and then there's like potential new recordings coming along. But I don't really understand what's the uh, clash. The recording priority is also very interesting. So you have multiple shows and programs that you want to record. You can set the priority. So the last time I recorded something one, uh, when His Majesty the King got uh, proclaimed, for example. So I mean, really don't need that anymore, but it's still here. So if we go back to TV, you can actually go and scroll again. So click on match of the day, for example, what I'm looking at. And this is the way it appears. So it's not super perfect. I would have loved like World Cup banner or something like this, but the title of the program is match of the day. So it pulls the wall out uh, automatically without me actually doing anything. And you can see the two episodes. So you can watch this game or watch this game. And if you just play, you, it's exactly like anything else you're playing from Plex. You can actually see this is the game running, it's the last few minutes of the game, so you can sort of pause, rewind, stop, um, basically like if it was any Plex content. If we jump into the back end, this is how it looks. So under TV series, there's a folder called Live Match of the Day, season 2022, and you can see over here, this is a recording. So roughly football matches are an hour and 30 plus extra time, bit before, bit after. So because here's like two hours of content and it comes around six gig, it's a t .ts file. In terms of the live game, it's not actually the best way to watch it from Plex. The quality is not going to be there. So I've been adopting this solution, but not just for this purpose, but I've 
picked up one of these 4K UHD TiVoSat receivers, which DigiQuest sent over for me to try out. And this syncs up to a satellite that's on top of my roof, and it picks up the hot bird signal for Italian TV. So we watch this at home. And the reason why we're watching it is that Rai is, has a 4K channel and they're transmitting that over the World Cup period. And basically it's just all of the football is there for free to access. So this is what a solution that I've been using, a bit of a peculiar solution, but uh, you know, you'll find the best 4K depending on what uh, setup you have to watch the game. And also the last bit of kit that I've actually reviewed previously in this channel is the HMI Matrix, the HD Anywhere. And thanks to that piece of kit, I'm able to actually watch the same type of content on one television and on the other. So if I'm in the living room watching something and I need to go down to the kitchen to prepare food or whatever and eat, the live TV will be in sync or basically any content I throw at it, it could be movies, TV shows, will be in exact sync between the two. So it's basically a whole house experience where you can keep the game going and you never miss a second. So I hope you got a bit of value out of this video. If you have, remember to like and subscribe for future videos like this. This is Joe from Smarter Makers. I'm gonna leave you with this video over here. Give it a go and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.